What is character.ai? Why is it one of the fastest growing AI tools in the world? And how is it being used? My name is David Andre and here is everything you need to know about character.ai. So what even is character.ai? Well, to put it simply, it's a website where you can chat with AI characters. Anything from famous people to video game characters to anime characters and to even animals. And you can talk to all of these AI bots the same way you would talk to your friends. Character.ai uses machine learning to make these chats feel like you're actually talking to a real person, when in fact it's just a neural network. And the way these AI characters were able to learn is by studying millions and millions of text messages from the internet. Basically, if you read millions of books, you would probably know a thing or two how to chat and communicate. Now what's really crazy about character.ai is the speed at which it's growing. Just look at the chart right here. It's growing even faster than ChatGPT is right now. So how are people using character.ai? What are the most interesting use cases. Well, some people use it to learn new languages, to get advice from characters of successful people, to combat loneliness and personal issues, to play interesting role-playing games, and also a lot of people use it for not safe for work purposes. Obviously, I can mention that on YouTube. Unlike ChatGPT or Bart, you don't even need to sign up to use character.ai, which is a very smart business move as it completely removes any friction from preventing new people using your product. It's also available in 13 languages, anything from English, English, Spanish, French, Italian, to Korean, Chinese, and languages that I don't even know exist. Another smart business move is that the company purchased the domain C.AI. That way the people can access the site even faster. Which reminds me of the move that Mark Zuckerberg did with Facebook when he bought FB.com, which is, you know, a much faster way than typing Facebook.com. Not only can you, the user, chat to an AI chatbot, but you can also make two chatbots chat with each other. Here is a conversation between between Joe Biden and a chimpanzee. What I was interested in when first checking out character.ai is who is the most famous person character. And you know, there are people like Albert Einstein, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Billie Eilish, and number one, Pokimane. No idea how she pulled that off. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, but David, how does character.ai compare to ChatGPT? And the results are very surprising. The memory of the characters actually seems to be better than the one of ChatGPT, since you can talk to them many times over and over. And you know, even if you turn off your PC, and close the browser, you can still open that character and it will remember most of the stuff. Obviously, it's not perfect, but I would say it's quite good. My first impression is that it was trained to be more funny, more witty, you know, more socially adept, while ChatGPT is more useful and practical. The token window on character.ai seems to be much shorter than ChatGPT's, meaning your messages have to be shorter and the responses that you will get also will be quite short. Another curious fact about character.ai is that the response responses aren't as fluent as on ChatGPT. It seems to be more like spaced out and in chunks of a sentence or, you know, half a sentence. I mean, it's still very fast, but I don't know. It's kind of weird if you ask me. One observation that I'm very sure of is that the language model was trained and optimized to keep the conversation going no matter what. Meaning, if your response is short or vague, it will ask you a different question. Or when it senses that you're starting to lose interest, it will start asking you more and more questions or sometimes even switch the topic altogether. Now, Character.ai is completely free, but the way they make money is by offering a premium subscription called Character.ai Plus. The price is $9.99 a month, which is exactly half of ChatGPT Plus. We've already looked at the most popular people on the platform, but there are characters that are much more popular than Pokimane or Billie Eilish. So what is the most popular character on Character.ai? Well, to my absolute surprise, it is some anime character called Raiden Shogun from a game called Game impact. Now this is the first time I ever heard about Raiden Shogun, so I'm just as clueless as you are. Other super popular characters include the psychologist, which you know acts as your personal psychologist, and Super Mario from Super Mario 64. But the Raiden Shogun character is more popular than even psychologist and Mario combined. In total it has over 62 million chats. That goes to show how incredibly popular character.ai is starting to become. Given that the most popular 
particular character on the side is something from anime made me realize that a big part of the character that AI community is actually from Asia. It's only a matter of time before this AI becomes mainstream in the West. So subscribe if you want to stay ahead. Now one thing that I needed to know as soon as I heard about character.ai is what language model it runs on. My assumption was that it would be either GPT 3.5 from OpenAI or Llama from Facebook Meta AI. But no, actually character.ai has their own custom language model called C1.2. I guess C is a shortcut for character and 1.2 is obviously the version. So it makes sense why the responses would be so different from ChatGPT. The C1.2 model is specifically designed for natural language understanding and conversations. That way it feels as natural and human-like as possible. Now obviously the premise of the entire site is to have a bunch of different AI characters. So let's look at some of the most impressive ones. If you go to character.ai, you will see that all the characters are divided into categories, such as helpers, where you have characters like the character assistant, which is the official main character. Then there is the psychologist, which is one of the most popular characters on the entire site with over 17 million chats. Makes me wonder how many lives this simple chatbot actually saved. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. Then there is the games category, where you can play all sorts of text-based role-playing games. Now, personally, I found the World War I game quite interesting, as it literally puts you into the shoes of a World War I soldier. And let me tell you, the role-playing was very impressive. I can definitely see how people get addicted to this, and why this AI is becoming so insanely popular. Another ultra-popular category is anime, but personally, I haven't watched a single anime in my life, so we're gonna skip that. Now, the movie characters category is actually quite interesting. You have people like Tony Stark, Saul Goodman, Walter White, you name it. Basically any movie or TV show character you can think of is on character.ai. And if for some reason the character you're looking for doesn't exist, you can actually create your own one, which is very easy. And we'll get to that in a bit. Then there is the philosophy category, which has to be my favorite. And on here you can find anything from Socrates to I pass butter, which is quickly starting to become the most popular and influential AI philosopher in the world. A very interesting category is the history category. The most popular is Napoleon Bonaparte, but there is also Julius Caesar, Nikola Tesla, Abraham Lincoln, Leonardo da Vinci, the list goes on. Believe it or not, there's even an animal category where you can talk to a lion, a velociraptor, a goose, or a cat living on the streets of New York City. Perhaps the best thing about character.ai is that literally anyone can create new characters. And as I promised, I'll show you how to do that. So on the left, you have the create button button with a plus and it's literally just a four step process. Number one, you have to name the character. Number two, you have to give it a custom greeting. So for example, Mario has, it's a me, Mario. The third option is whether you want the character to have the ability to create new images right in the text. And the fourth and final step is visibility. Whether it's a character just for you, you know, maybe something more personal or character that you want everyone to have access to. And that's it. Like those four simple steps that you can complete in one minute and you can have your own custom AI character. So who is the founder of character.ai? Well, there are two founders and both of them are ex-Google developers who actually worked on the Google Lambda AI. They are Noam Shazir and Daniel De Freitas. Since Google took so long before they released any AI products, the most valuable developers like Noam Shazir ended up leaving the company. I mean, Martin Shkreli said it the best. Noam didn't want to leave. He was a Google veteran. He loved that company, bro. He loved that company. He was there 22 years. And you said no. When I'm not putting out this consumer product, he started Character AI. Now he's a billionaire. The beta model of character.ai was first available in September of 2022, which is yet another perfect timing. You know, if you've seen my video on Langchain, you know that Langchain was released in October of 2022, a month before ChatGPT blew up and changed the world. Now this is September, so this is two months before ChatGPT, which is again, like very insane timing. Man, I'm starting to notice a pattern here. Perhaps the most overlooked, but also one of the most important features of character that AI is the feed. Now this basically makes the site into a small social media website because it allows people to share their funniest interactions and to post their own chatbots and the results they've gotten to everyone else to see. And this is much more important than you realize because it makes the site social, you know, like that's why social media sites are so incredibly popular. This is something that ChatGPT still hasn't been able to accomplish. Now what's crazy is that Sam Altman, the founder of OpenAI, knows this. Just look at this tweet.
And if you think nobody is using the feed feature, think again. The most popular posts have tens of thousands of likes, meaning that millions of people use the feed every day. I must say, some of the posts on the feed are very funny. For example, this Bible 2 confirmed post where someone started a chat with a Jesus Christ character and he asked it, yo, when is Bible 2 coming out? And Jesus was like, Bible 2, the return of the Lamb, coming 2026. Like, dude, you have to read this through. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. This is like, this is too funny. Now, personally, I think the feed might actually end up being the most important feature of character.ai because if the users can actually stay on the site and interact with each other, then a lot of people will spend a lot more time on the site, meaning that they'll make a lot more money and the company could become multi, multi-billion dollar company in a few years. Scratch that, in a few months. This is the AI field we're talking about. Now, what I found particularly interesting when using character.ai is just how often the site reminds you that everything is made up, that you're just talking to AI characters, you know, like the text that they can give you can be fake and the facts might not be real. Another peculiar feature is the ability to rank the messages from one star to four stars, which is the first time I've ever seen any product use a four star rating system. In character.ai, you can also speak your messages out instead of typing them, which ChatGPT can't do right now. There's also the feature to create your own images inside of every single chat. Now, I have a feeling that this is running on stable diffusion because the images are very similar to stable diffusion. Now one feature that I really like is that next to every single character you can see who created it, which not only gives credit to the author, but it also encourages more people to make their own characters, which makes the site even more popular. If you want me to make more videos like this, then please subscribe. It takes two seconds.